what we are trying to um, understand is by examining GAIT, will we be able to capture very, very early risk? Researchers use this gait mat to measure distance and variability between steps as well as walking speed. Embedded sensors transmit data to a nearby computer, creating a unique walking signature for each participant. Okay. Patients follow a direction that stimulates the cognitive part of the brain. So this time, while you're walking down the gait mat at your usual pace, I would also like you to tell me as many words as you can think of, beginning with a specific letter of the alphabet. This dual tasking, walking and thinking, uses the same regions of the brain. So researchers say slowing down or stumbling on the mat can indicate cognitive decline. If I think I slow down walking or something or almost have to stop, and then if I concentrate on my walking, I cannot think. Many times I'm out there in my shop and I come in the house for something and when I get in here, I say, what did I come in here for? Because forgetfulness like that is common in older people, researchers need more substantive predictors of Alzheimer's, like this pairing of gait and cognition. Horse, dog, cat. We hope to identify the pathway how is gait related to um, changes in the brain? Uh, and hopefully we'll also come up with some interventions, preventive interventions. I'm Marty Salt reporting.